it's reviews with booze once again and I want to talk to you about Megadeth's hidden treasures right there you see fucking Megadeth Arizona Phoenix and Casa Grande on the fucking CD I always thought that was fucking sweet anyways this album is basically a comp album of uh, tunes from movie soundtracks cover tunes and I think a few other gems but uh, kicks off with an Alice Cooper cover called no more mr. nice guy which is pretty fucking sweet I did it in for the movie shocker Dave Mustaine obviously the famous story being too fucking pilled out or whatever to be able to play guitar and sing at the same time and he just looks awful on the video but still a good tune the second song is called Breakpoint, and it's also it starts revving up the album with a little bit, you know, the first song isn't exactly, it's more rock and not as much metal, this one's metal, but pretty fucking sweet, but then you hit motherfucking Go to Hell, track three, which is off of the Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey soundtrack. Now I know this song has the dreaded prayer that the inner Sandman has, you know, the now I lay me down to sleep. And I know uh, Dave Mustaine's kind of bummed about Metallica and him having that, but seriously, in this song, when it's like, blah, 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 my soul to keep. And if I die before I wake, I'll go to hell for heaven's sake. That shit's way cooler than the normal player in the Metallica song. Anyways, sweet tune, check it out, but uh, the next track, of course, is the classic Angry Again. Now this song is one of Megadeth's finest, in my opinion. I don't know why it's not on an album. And it's on, of all movies, Laxed Action Hero, featuring the governator, Arnold Schwarzenegger. I don't know why, but this song is tits and ass all the way. Great fucking song. The next song is actually one of my favorite Megadeth songs ever. And it's 99 Ways to Die off of the Beavis and Butthead Do America soundtrack. And what can I say about this song? It has sweet guitar, sweet licks. It, it's sweet all around. I fucking love it, dude. Mad as a hot um, What's next on this motherfucker? Well, who can go wrong? with covering Paranoid. Obviously they have a little bit different sound and this is actually the one I grew up with loving. The dun, 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 was, you know, it has the faster pace and shit. But uh, it's a good cover of Paranoid. Sabbath fans might be like, whoa, don't touch the Sab, but hey, it's free country, right? Well, as long as Dave Mustaine has something to say about it. Uh, the next song is uh, Diadems, which is pretty good song it's uh, not one of my faves on the album but I definitely don't skip it I rock on through I love comps like this it's cool when you don't have to think about the album as a whole it's like oh no 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 you don't have to think of this does it fit on the record no it's a comp anything goes and that's fucking sweet well the last song is a cover tune from the Sex Pistols and it's called Problems um, they do a good job. It's not the highest point of the album either, but uh, still exciting. And it's too many problems. Of why am I here? Sweet ass fucking uh, sweet ass little Sex Pistols song going. Uh, I think this record is great. It's real short, but if you're a Megadeth fan and you haven't heard this, you should fucking check it out. These songs are fucking sweet. Um, it's exactly what the album calls it: hidden treasures. Booyah! Megadeth, Arizona. Check it out, my friends. We'll catch you on the flip side. It's fucking reviews of booze. I'm Winston Smith. And I'll see you all in hell. Go to hell!